Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here with the one and only Lane Bolin. Hey there. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. We're about to rock the house with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Today, we got a little something special for you that I know is a, a, a perennially hot topic for any mortgage professional who's got an ounce of ambition, and that is how to get the best quality mortgage leads with the highest loan amounts at the lowest price. So how's that for a loaded topic today? <laughs> yep. What do you think, Lane? Do you think there might be a few people uh, out there that uh, might have need for some better quality leads and more of them? Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd say uh, the ones that are starting out, that's for sure. And and the uh, smart veterans that, uh, that know that the uh, low interest rate refi boom is not going to last forever. Yeah. And, you know, even if you're a veteran and uh, you got more business than you can shake a stick at right now, if you've been in the business for any period of time, you know that summer doesn't last forever and that what flows out must ebb back in. And uh, so we've got to be prepared. And also, you've probably noticed that not all mortgage leads are created equal. You know, you can get 100 leads of one sort of lead and 100 leads of another sort of leads, and you can get an infinitely different level of value in return. When I say value, I'm talking about the average loan amount, the commission that you generate as a result of that loan amount, uh, the ease of transaction, the yep. general quality and experience of working with that type of client. Are they a bit like herding cats or are they readily sending you all the documentation like pronto? Are they enthusiastic? Are they committed? Are they courteous? Are they grateful? Or are they wanting sibling complaining bitches who are always making you the in the wrong and always, you know, making complaints about how things aren't being done quick enough or fast enough or blah, 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 or making excuses why they haven't gotten to send you the documentation yet. And next thing you know, days turn into weeks, they still haven't sent you the documentation. And then they're blaming you for having the loan close on, not close on time. Notice it's a very different type of experience, a very different quality of transaction, not to mention not all leads are created equal in terms of how many repeat and referral business transactions you get that spawn out of that initial transaction. And so now you're looking at a very different quality of transaction and a very different level of repeat and referral business and a very different level of value. We got the crap leads that are a pain in the ass to work with, <laughs> that chew up tons of your time, that frustrate and stress the hell out of you, that suck the life out of you. And now you're busting your hump making peanuts in return because those are the trailer type deals where you're literally doing a transaction for like, you know, 800 bucks and you're wondering why the hell you, you bothered to volunteer for that plan. Right. Or they're, they're, they're growing hair and they've got fangs and it's like you're trying to resurrect the dead because this is just a monstrosity of a deal and who the hell in the right mind's ever going to even, you know, resurrect this deal, let alone yeah. voluntarily, <laughs> let alone voluntarily inflict themselves with trying to do so. Uh, right. So, you know, we've got that and then we've got the other side of the spectrum, which is like primo, beautiful, exquisite, profitable, fun, fulfilling and, you know, uber uh, shall we say rewarding deals that you want more of, you want to press the repeat button on. So let's talk about uh, kind of that juxtaposition of those two ends of the spectrum. Let's sure. start off with, uh, you know, the, the worst leads. What are you seeing out there as you're talking with mortgage professionals who've got their feet in the street lane in terms of the, the leads that, uh, that they would deem as the worst leads? What are some of the qualities and characteristics yeah. of well, what we would call the worst leads? It, I, the, the common denominator between the two ends of the spectrum it just comes down to human relationships. But the, uh, the I mean, what we're seeing that the, the common thread over on uh, you know, the, the worst lead spectrum that's yeah uh, Kajiki responses, Craigslist responses, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, very cold Facebook uh, leads uh, yep. that uh, Zillow, yep. Zillow, yeah, Zillow, which is it's like the home advisor. <laughs> mortgages yeah yeah zillow uh so so and and you know anything that, that's coming in without that human touch without that referral is you can generally just put in the wastebasket sure yeah or not to mention the wanting sibling complaining jelly donut yep. eating bottom feeding low producing realtors that couldn't yep. uh, 
succeed in business if they're freaking life dependent on it. Yep. And they're always prone to working with the trailer trash type of clients, the lower end type of clients, the yep. clients who are inadequately prepared to uh, in, in Scuzzville where, you know, the right. average is like, you know, 80,000. So you get those types of deals. What are the worst leads? Let's talk about the worst leads. What yeah. are we doing in some of the qualities and characteristics of the worst leads? Yeah. So they're the, Number one, it's not coming to you by referral. Number two, uh, generally it's coming off Craigslist, Kajiki, uh, donut eating, real estate agents that uh, you know couldn't couldn't uh, excel in in business if it was handed them on a platter. Uh, you know, so uh, again, uh, it all, inquiries to the website those generally suck. That's somebody that's shopping. Uh, you know, if it's coming, if it's an answer to a Facebook ad. Uh, the, the common refrain is 80% of those Facebook leads uh, couldn't pass credit. So, and, and, and that follows. Uh, so, so, I mean, like on the other end of the spectrum, the, the dream leads, the people that have money that, that have their act together, they're, they don't have time. Right. And, and they also have relationships that are handling this for them. So it, yeah, you know, that anyways, I, I, I digress, yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like, I mean, you guys have experienced it. If you've been in the business for any period of time, you know what a crap lead looks like. Um, they're not committed. They're shopping you. They're tire kickers. They're looking to lose. Uh, they're just looking for the best deal. They see you as a replaceable commodity. You're a replaceable cog in the wheel. Uh, they just see you as an order taker. There's nothing unique about what you bring to the table. You haven't been endorsed uh, by any kind of trusted third party. And uh, they basically just treat you like, hey, you know, you're the Walmart of mortgages. Let me get the best deal here. You know, what's your rate? And yeah. uh, can you save me some money? So that generally tends to be the the worst deals. And 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 in many cases, they're not qualified. They don't have uh, the down payment. They don't have the credit. Uh, they aren't really committed. They're kind of like maybe someday in the future, if I get around to it, uh, they right. don't have a super pressing burning need. And if they do, they're like, you know, delusional optimism on steroids where they think they're going to be able to get into a $500,000 home when they make $30,000 a year and they're in $30,000 of debt. You know, it's like, yeah. good luck with that. So um, that's what we look at when we look at leads. We're always looking at what is the best source of leads and what's going to get you the, the highest ROI on your time and money. Because if you're going to generate leads, you might as well be strategic about getting the best leads, the highest commission per deal leads, the most fun leads, the most fulfilling leads, the most cool cat leads who are a joy and a delight to work with, who spawn more delightful clients, who bring you more joy and delight. And it becomes right. that awesome, that upward spiral of awesome. Because as the saying goes, the birds of a feather flock together. And so if you're working with crap leads, what do you tend to attract more of them? More or crap crap. Leads. Yeah. If you're, if you're working with the bottom feeders, you tend to attract more bottom feeders. If you've made a name for yourself as the loan resurrector, as the last resort loan officer, and now you're getting all the agents and all your professional partners to throw you all the dead deals no one else can resurrect. And you're wondering why you're banging your head against the wall, stressed out all day because all these deals have fangs and, and they're growing hair. Well, wonder no longer, my friends, is because you've yeah. built a brand around being a loan resurrector. You've yeah. built a brand around being the last resort loan officer. So you've got to be strategic about not just what you can do, because you might be able to resurrect loans. But the question is, is that what you want? There's a difference between can do and want to do, right? And if you're going to create a business, why not have a business that you want versus a business that you hate, that sucks, that enslaves you, that stresses you out and has you busting your hump for peanuts? So let's talk about how to be strategic about the best leads. But before we do, let's talk about what those best leads look like. What are the best leads? What kind of leads are, uh, what kind of qualities and characteristics do you see when you're talking to uh, mortgage professionals laying on the front lines yeah. of capitalism? What kind of leads are they typically looking for in contract yeah. crappy leads? You know, uh, credit worthy uh, and exclusive referral where they're, they're not being chopped like right up front. They're, they're more interested in, in the service and, and having the, 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 the right deal as opposed to uh, a fast deal or the cheap deal. Uh, so that's what it, that's what, so again, they're credit worthy. They have assets, they have a down payment. Yeah. You know, they, they, they under, they have a, a, a time frame that's other than now. 
Uh, <laughs> or other than next next year or two years from now, right? Yeah, that too. Yeah, that, that as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's either now or next year. Uh, we, we don't want that. <laughs> yeah, now now is cool if they're willing to give us about three weeks to close, but not if uh, right, that, we, we yeah. get it closed tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. That, that's what I meant by now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then, of course, you know, like we talked about before, it's the, those monetary components like, you know, if you could take your average loan size from 150000 to 250000 or from 250000 to 350000 and you, you, can make those, income. you can make those deals more conventional and less hairy right. with bangs with less claws and bad breath, and you could make them uh, easier and more streamlined to close and the less babysitting and, and less having to tinker around just to figure out how you're going to package the deal to even have a mm-hmm. chance of making it fly, let alone actually getting it to close, uh, then it just right. it streamlines the whole process. The, the big thing is a lot of people think that, you know, those kind of deals, you're going to, you know, you're going to get shopped more. Those kind of deals where they have, uh, you know, they're fiscally oh, responsible, man. they have a high net worth, uh, they're making 100 k plus per year, they got a 720 credit score or higher. Those kind of people, they're going to shop you all day long. They're not loyal. Uh, They're not, you know, they're not going to work with you because frankly, you know, they're going to, they're going to go to the bank who's going to give you the best rate. And that may or may not be the case. The big thing I think a lot of people overlook is the erroneous assumptions that you bring to the table that have you self self sabotage your ability to receive that kind of amazing client. Why not you? If you have competitive rates and first class, world class service, why not you? Yep. Why not you? Do you think the bank's going to provide better service than you? I don't think so. And if you have competitive rates in a first class, mm-hmm. world class service, doesn't it make sense that that client that drives a Beamer uh, as opposed to a you know rust bucket, right. even though they both take the, the that client from A to Z, they both do the same thing in in essence. Doesn't it make that make doesn't it make sense that client would do the same thing with their mortgage where they wouldn't just go for the Walmart mortgage, but they'd go for the best experience mortgage with the best right. education, with the best advice, with the best guidance, with the best, you know, overall experience, not just now, but monitoring and managing that, you know, the chances are it's the largest um, debt or the largest loan they have on any given asset is their mortgage. So it doesn't make sense. They'd want that to have a management and a guidance attached to it. That's first class and world class. Obviously yep. that is the case, but most people think, oh, I don't, you know, I don't think they're going to want to work with me because they're just going to want to work with the bank. The bank's going to give them a better rate. You're, you've, you've lost the game before you even got in the game. If you're thinking like that. Yep. So let's talk about what are the strategic steps required to get those juicier, more fulfilling, more fruitful and more fun, best quality leads, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. How do we get those leads? I mean, how does someone go about going and actually attracting those leads consistently? That's the big question. The 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 fastest path to that uh, is is through referrals upstream from where you are in the uh, in in the value chain. What's the highest value, best quality lead, and what's the easiest way to get them? From roll a realtor. A realtor. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Drum roll. <laughs> yeah, drum roll, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impeccable timing, Lane. I love your timing. Sorry. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Timed it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, that, that makes sense. It's the realtor. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't have a loan until there's a, a deal, a, a purchase gre- a signed purchase agreement on the table. Uh, so a realtor. <laughs> yeah, and so is it any realtor, anyone with a pulse who could fog a mirror who calls himself a realtor? Is that the best quality? No, absolutely not. It, it, it's the high-end realtor who's driving a Beamer just like her clients that uh, is doing 20, 20 transactions or better a year. Uh, that uh, it, it's funny. You, you'd think that, uh, that, that there'd be like an inverse relationship between be. Uh, having those huge deals and, and volume, they're actually directly correlated because and it all comes down to the consumer psychology of those wealthy people. You, they don't want to talk to a million people. They don't want to shop because they see, they know that they are one big giant checkbook and they don't want to be hunted. So they're only going to talk to people that are refer that are a trusted advisor to refer them to other trusted advisors. 
So it, I, I, anyway, I hopped <laughs> off yeah. my soapbox. And, 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 you, and you know that to be true. You've uh, worked in the finance arena. You've worked with uh, you yeah. know million, millionaire investors. You know this is not theory. This is you know from you uh, being on right. the front line of capitalism, working with yes. these people all day, every day. Yes. And so you know these are the Rolex a, wares of the world, or the uh, you know the zip codes where the average yes. uh, home value is you know right. seven hundred thousand, a million plus. Obviously, you've got to find your sweet spot of what your ideal client is. If it's jumbo, right. then we want to attract the jumbo luxury right. properties. If it's yeah. HA, then obviously that's a different zip code. If it's somewhere yeah. kind of in the middle, uh, somewhere between 300,000 and half a million, that's obviously a different strategic type of uh, partner right. than someone who's doing you know, a transaction right. at 80 to 150K. Right, right, right. Define your target, and then go, go work, go network with the uh, the realtors that are servicing that target. <laughs> yeah, fast, fast. <laughs> but, but Lane, you know these yeah. realtors—they're already married to their lender. Uh, sure. They, they don't give me. They don't give me the time of day. I'm sick and tired of cold calling the same forty freaking realtors every Monday. Sure. Uh, you know, I'm frankly, I'm just fed up with realtors. They're annoying. They're apathetic. They're well, they're sleazeballs. They're disloyal. They're flaky. Yeah. And frankly, I'd be happy just to get rid of them all entirely. How do you respond to someone like that? I, uh, number number one, Dorn, they're sick of you uh, coming to the table without having anything of value. Uh, number two, you got to get their attention. Sure, they have a 15 year relationship. That LO that that uh, you know uh, jump or you know says how high the moment they're 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 told to say jump, uh, I, whatever. But uh, but the point is, you got to get their attention by bringing something of value that they've never seen before. Like you mm -hmm. know, how how are you going to make the the realtor's life easier? And I'm not talking about platitudes like oh you know I'll I'll I'll, I'll help you co-market your your open house. Everybody does that. Like how are you truly different? How are you going to directly impact their bottom line and the you know the, the the amount of quality time they have right yeah anyway so yeah you speak you speak to a, a real conundrum for many because right. you know, we're honest a lot of mortgage professionals know they need to have that unique hook that unique value proposition right and yet you know actually having it show up in reality is a whole other story you know yeah. it's like, it's but, kind of like but, this monster. You hear about it, you talk about it, but you never actually see it, right? <laughs> Most people's unique value proposition is in their world. They talk but, but about Dorn, it, they think about it, but they never actually produce one of real significance. So, so Doran, check it out. I mean, you go to any real estate brokerage in in the United States or Canada. The 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 big heavy hitting, you know, commission leader in any shop is always the buy side agent, right? And 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 so the the listing agents are are scratching their head like how does that person do it how is she closing five deals a month you know barely working right how is she getting those buy side leads well you know before the invention of this thing called Facebook she would she spent twenty years developing relationships with guys like me financial advisors that would give her the intel on who's got money and who's buying a house and then and, and then feeding her that relationship. But now with Facebook, I, I, I don't mean to you know, geek out on you, but did you know there's over 2 million data points associated with every IP address? That's like the, the identifier on your device. And, and Facebook's collecting all that data. So we can actually target those people. It's, it's like, tell us, tell us who you want to talk to. We'll put an ad in front of them. <laughs> yeah, and, and on, the, on the on the flip side, we'll see people, you know, and this is typical among any consumer direct uh, marketing, right? Uh, Facebook included, Google AdWords included. Uh, we'll we'll see people all day doing Facebook ads, doing Google AdWords sure. type of uh, campaigns. They're generating a hundred leads, and they're maybe closing one deal, or maybe one deal out of two hundred leads. Well, and sure. so, if you guys are jaded and apathetic. Uh, and have pretty much just thrown the baby out with the bathwater with these uh, these leads. I don't blame right. you because frankly, no. a lot of these leads are you know what we would call first time home buyers, uh, right? It's trash. Aren't, who aren't ready to buy their first home yet. Yeah. They need to oh. get incubated. They need credit repair. They need to right. save up some money for a down payment. They need to you know get their ducks in a row financially, and so you know. A big part of what we see out there is you know get the silver bullets and the bright shiny objects where they're saying, hey, 
feed your realtors all these crap leads through Facebook. That'll make them no. want to do business with no. you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they don't want those leads from you as much as you don't want their credit challenged, uh, you know, walking dead uh, referrals. Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh. They, they could they could use that like a kick in the face, right? It's like right. that's, so, that's the last thing they want is a, an, a mountain of crap leads to sift through. And yet that's yeah, that's the silver bullet solution we see out there from a lot of coach coaching programs and marketing programs is let's Crazy. just let's just bury these, you know, realtors under a mountain of crap leads. And yeah. that'll get them okay. to make you make you their exclusive. <laughs> Let's see how well that goes. Right? <laughs> that'll get you blocked in their cell phone. <laughs> yeah. So the, the problem with a lot of the programs out there is that they're the one trick pony, one legged stool solution where right. they're they're only getting you to, you know, help the realtor with a couple tools to help them mine the gold from their database. Or they're right. only you know, setting up a leads program on Facebook that gives them an avalanche of shit leads to sift through, or they're only getting you to cold call the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday, just working the law of large numbers, hoping that eventually if you just keep throwing yoga to the fan, something's going to stick. So there's this one legged stool kind of methodology. And the problem with a one legged stool right. is it's a rather precarious foundation to lay your business on, especially if you got mouths to feed, right? If you got a family to provide for, you don't want to be sitting on a one-legged stool because that one-legged stool, no. you know, that one leg gives out and you're SOL. So, yep. you know, we've got to, if you want to build stability, you've got to build diversification. We want to have a robust, well-diversified, stable of these top producing agents doing 20 plus transactions a year who can send you yep. one, two, three plus deals, closings per month. Most people right. are getting one to three closings a year from their agents. We're talking per yeah. month, but boy, and, those and people, it, they're not giving the time of day. Well, that's because you're doing it the hard way. It's like saying, yeah. Dorn, Dorn, I don't like sex. That just means you're doing it the wrong way. You're doing it the hard way. And if you <laughs> don't like the experience of working with these agents, it's because you're doing it the hard way. You're doing it the wrong way. Like that's wrong. Yeah. No, I was gonna say it's a symbiotic relationship. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the key distinction here is you send them pre-approvals. They send you deals ready to transact. Yeah, and that's just one, rocket science. And that's just one arrow in the quiver. See, that's the thing right. that separates us from everyone else. Everyone else is they've got one arrow in the quiver. They're the one trick pony. So yeah. you know, if you if you have a system to send them pre approvals, that's great. But what if great. that's just one of many wicked yeah. effective arrows in your quiver where you can right. help them generate more leads from social media? You can help them right. generate uh, more pre-approved buyers through their yep. open houses. You can get more, capture more leads from their open houses. You can help them not only capture more leads, but convert more of those leads. You yep. can help them resurrect their dead leads into hot for what you've got leads. Yep. Leads that they have in their trash can, now you can help them put that in their cash can. Oh. You can help them dominate on Google with more five-star reviews. Right. By the way, another primo source of leads. If you're looking for the best quality, hot for what you got, easiest to convert uh, and pre-sold, pre-tenderized, predisposed to buy lead that's ready to buy and work with you right yep. even before you talk to them. It's yep. the client that comes through your Google My Business account because of all your right. kick-ass five-star reviews. You've got more five-star reviews than any of your competitors. Now you're the only right. logical choice and they come to you pre-sold before they even speak to you. Bingo. And they, right? So um, that's another great source of leads, but notice the parallel between the referral from the top producing agent. What's the right. common denominator there? You're bringing something of value to said realtor. Well, the common denominator is that they yeah. have that third party endorsement. In that case, it's from right. Google with all those. Oh, ratings. that's what you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That third party right. endorsement yeah. is huge. And then of yep. course, we want to be able to diversify that where we have many streams that are already pre-sold on you from different yep. great sources. So instead of just having right. one, one, you know, stream, you have a multitude of streams that come together and create, converge into this raging river of red hot referrals. Right. Yep. That and that you can dial in the targeting so that you're feeding the bait to to match the realtor. Bingo. So yep. now 
so now you guys understand, at least from a th theoretical perspective, that number one, you need to build stability through diversification. Number yep. two, that not all leads are created equal. So we need to go right. to the sources that are going to give you the best sources of leads the most often uh, with the least amount of drama and trauma and trouble and struggle. And, yep. and then we want to strategically roll out campaigns that allow you to do that without inflicting yourself with the hell of cold calling. Now tell us about what we hear uh, on the front lines when you're speaking with mortgage professionals about some of the uh, the plight and the pain that comes from having to do what what most of these so-called coaches and marketing experts are yeah. telling mortgage professionals to do, which is cold call. Uh, it, 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 I'm hearing uh, the phrase uh, soul crushing. I'm hearing the phrase uh, I dread Monday morning. I'm I'm I'm, I'm hearing uh, the phrase call reluctance. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you know, like like you were talking about sex earlier. That, I mean, if, if you aren't excited to get on the phone and make money, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you're doing it. No doubt. No we gotta get we gotta get the kinks ironed out. We gotta remove right. the wire. We gotta grease the shoot. We gotta get you working smarter instead of just harder. That's sorry, right. for that. sorry for the grease metaphor. That probably was not um, probably not the most apt thing to say in a in a, in a sex uh, you know context. But nonetheless. Uh, we Oops. So <laughs> anyway, this is X-rated, guys. If you don't know, now you know. No <laughs> That's, part part. We all day. That's how we roll on this podcast. So yeah, guys, we've got to get you working smart when it comes to strategically attracting these top producing agents. Right. So you know what is not smart is trying to build the foundation for a skyscraper with a gardening trowel. That's called doing it the freaking hard way. That's backbreaking. Right. That's backbreaking right. oil. And it's unnecessary. That's like... Right. Dude, we're in the 21st freaking century. There's something called hydraulics. There's something called an excavator. Why inflict yourself with all that pain and strain? Yeah. There's no brownie points to the bank. There's no there, there's no merit badge at the bank for doing it the hard way, is there? Yeah. And yet yeah. so many people, they, you know, they just mindlessly follow the herd doing what everyone else is doing because yeah. so yeah. coaches are saying that's the way to do it. Dude, it, that worked it, 20 years ago. It doesn't work anymore. Yeah, Doran. I mean, that's so true. I, I, I they're, 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 they're taking such pride in, in working that hard, thinking that there's a, a Christmas bonus based on the hours that they're putting in. Right. <laughs> like you can't pay the mortgage with all that unnecessary toil. That, that ain't gonna cut it. You don't pay no. the mortgage with your merit badge saying you busted your hump working 70 hours a week, banging your head against the wall, throwing yogurt to the fan, doing it the hard way. You don't pay the mortgage, and you don't put presents under the Christmas tree with that, with that kind of stuff. You put yeah. Christmas, you, you, you light up your Christmas tree with elegance and bounty because yeah. you work smart, not hard. And you're yeah, working yeah. Kid, strategically. Doran, kids get trophies for effort. Adults get trophies for results. Bingo. <laughs> we should be teaching our kids that too, because when they yeah. get into the, the real world, you don't want yep. them to be surprised that it's a little different. There's no merit badges for doing it the hard way anymore. No. So that's why people, that's why mortgage professionals come to us because number one, they don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. Number two, they realize that their way ain't working. And if they right. keep doing what they've always been doing, they're going to keep getting what they've been getting. Number three, they don't want to have to try and just, you know, make a big mess in the kitchen, trying to concoct this magic recipe, wasting all kinds of time, time they can never get back, banging their head against the wall, making a mess of their business in their life while time ticks right. away. This is not a freaking dress rehearsal. This is a no. one shot deal. It's called one no. life to make it your best life. And right. so you can either take decades grinding slowly up the mountain, trying to you know do it your way, the hard way, and inflict yourself with the pain and trouble and struggle of watching paint dry, a slow right. grind up the mountain where it takes you a decade to get to half a million a year, or you can get there in three years and have a proven yeah. plan to help you get there without hitting all these landmines. Yeah, you know, Doran, I had that conversation the other day. I mean, you know, we always talk about, you know, you're, you're going to pay your tuition. It's just a matter. Of, is it going to be the, uh, the university of uh, doing it the hard way or the, and the university of not knowing or, or, uh, you know, a bold, smart strategic investment in yourself. And, uh, and I broke it down like this, that we've been doing this for 15 years uh, at, at a minimum. I mean, uh, every year yeah, we're, we're, we're liberating 100, 200 people. So you know, 15 times 100 is 1,500. Yeah, 1,500 people times, you know, called a, a median of seven. What I'm getting at is, 
you know, there, there's over a, a thousand, you know, person years of, of experience inside the program of learning and adapting to the, to the market. It's like, yeah, sure. You, you could figure this out on your own. Um, but you know, it's like, it, yeah. you, you have a lifetime to spend. <laughs> well, the, clients, the clients we work with are intelligent enough to know that if their way ain't working, chances are doing more of it ain't going to help. No. The clients we work with are, you know, realize they're intelligent enough to know that if they keep banging their head against the wall, doing it the way that they've been doing it, right. they're going to keep getting it the way they've been getting it. And they're intelligent right. enough to know that if the trajectory that they're currently generating from what they're currently doing is not something they want to perpetuate into the future, they got to switch things up. They got to level up. They got to yeah. man up, woman up and champion up and start doing yeah. something different, doing something better, doing something yeah. more effective and more efficient. And Make that's change. why people come to us because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So if right. you're not happy, with the average commission per deal you have, or maybe you are happy with the average commission per deal, but you'd love to be able to pad another 100,000 on top just because you can. And you'd love to be able to work with better quality partners who send you better quality clients who do better quality transactions with more fun and fulfillment and flow. And you want to be able to systematically and strategically manufacture a incubation machine that incubates more and more of that kind of caliber and quality of client predictably consistently on demand at will yep. so you have a machine that does it instead of hoping wishing and praying it's going to pan out yep. and you're sick and tired of living in hope prison you see hope yeah. is great hope is great if you're in prison but it doesn't make for a very good marketing plan does it it's no like, no you, know, you guys so many of you are in hope prison. I hope it's going to be better. I hope next year is going to be better than this year. I hope next quarter is going to be better than last quarter. I hope I can finally get out of the, you know, feast or famine roller coaster that I've been living in for the last 10 years. I hope Dude. my wife lets me out of Sunday dinner with the in-laws so I can go golfing. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> if you're living by hope, you're living in hope prison. We don't smoke the hope dope. We don't want you hoping, we want you knowing. So if you guys are sick and tired of smoking the hope dope, if you're sick and yep. tired of living in hope prison, if you're yep. sick and tired of just me meandering around in the desert, hoping yep. and praying that somehow an oasis shows up when yep. it hasn't showed up in 10, 15, 20 years or in the last year, and you don't yep. want to just be hoping that somehow that oasis you know, shows up, screw the freaking oasis. Let's get you in the land called the land flowing with milk and honey. Screw the whole desert yep. entirely. You shouldn't yep. even be looking for an oasis. You, you should be, you know, changing your zip code to welcome to Planet Prosper. That's, that's right. The kind of, that's the kind of client we work with. They're ready to change yep. their whole freaking zip code. Yep. But that's where you guys are at. You're on 100% commission. You eat what you kill. And you're making at least 80 basis points. And you're ready to add at least 100, another $100,000 to your annual income. Yep. I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business, we look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now in your business, what's right now not working for you in your business. We look at where you wanna be. If you had a breakthrough, what would that look like? What would that feel like? And then if we can help you bridge that gap, we'll be the first to show you how to do that. And if we can't, we'll be the first to tell you, maybe there's another solution and recommend something else or someone else. Either way though, you're going to leave the call not only with massive value, but with more clarity than chances are you've ever had in your entire business, bar freaking none. You leave with more crystal clarity on what it really takes to multiply your income, working smarter, not harder than you've ever had in your entire career. That's what I can promise you. If yep. you're willing to empty your cup so we can fill it with your dream. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, I invite you to take advantage of this call. Just book it. It's real easy. We'll just have an honest conversation, see if we can help you. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. And I, I'm going to be real with you. We're going to have a conversation about whether or not we can help you, whether or not we will have the tools in our toolbox to help you. Not every client. See, there's the other trumpet right there. That's the, that's the trumpeteer saying, hey, there is a catch. That's the, there is a catch, Trump. And the reason why that was so important to have such a poignant timing on that trumpet play, <laughs> because you're probably thinking to yourself, what's the catch, Doran? The catch is that we don't work with anybody and everybody. We only oh. work with people we can help. And frankly, we only make offers to 80% of the people we talk to. 
And that's because we're honest with you if we can't help you. And we're honest with you if you're not the right fit or if it's not the right timing. So let's have an honest conversation if you're open to explore your options, if you're open to look at you know, a better, smarter way to grow your business. Let's have a chat and see what we can do. Sure. Again, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply is yep. the domain to do that. So uh, any last words, Lane, before we wrap up today? Yeah, I was going to say, if, if you do not know at, at like a scientific, statistical, meaningful way that if I put in X amount of time, X amount of dollars, I produce Y amount of business, you, you don't have a business. You have a hustle. And if all you are is a hustler, you're never going to be paid more than for your time, period. Yeah. Yeah. If you treat it like if you treat it like a hobby, you're going to make hobby money. If you treat yep. it like a practice, you're going to make practice money. Yep. If you treat it like a real business that sets you free and you're willing to invest in yourself to do so, then you're going to turn your dream into reality. But it doesn't happen by accident any more yep. than a fruit harvest happens by accident. It happens <laughs> by design. You got to pull yep. out the weeds. You got to till the soil. You got to water. You got to prune. You got to fertilize. There's a lot that's required. And well, there's, smart gardening, there's smart gardening. And then there's fly by this seat of your pants gardening. And you know the difference in the level of harvest. It's yep. night, freaking day. One is just a big patch of weeds and <laughs> in a, a bunch of anemic fruits dangling uh, sparingly and anemically on half dead branches. And another one is bounty, is beauty, it's abundance. And that's yep. the abundant life we want to show you the way to. That's the abundant life that we're here to guide you into if you're committed. Yep. All right, guys. So I uh, hope you got some insight from our time together. Uh, this is Dorn Aldana with the one and only Lane, Lane Boland Thanks. coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. So go forth, y'all. Take massive action. Bring massive positive energy to that action right. in the form of enthusiasm, gratitude, commitment, resourcefulness, determination, but most importantly, strategic and intelligent and effective action. And chances are you will get massive results. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with us. Be blessed. We'll talk to you again soon. Peace. Adios.